Hello, my name is Timo Korpela from Multitouch. I'm here joined by our CTO, Dr. Tommy Ilmanen. And we have something new and exciting to tell you about. Um, this January at the CES, we announced a new groundbreaking uh, new architecture called Multi-Taction to build LCD-based multi-user displays. And I believe today we have something to show you. Sure. So uh, we have been working for a few years now on this new technology. It's a completely new technological approach to build multi-touch touch displays. The idea being that we are instead of using an array of cameras integrated into an LCD panel. And this allows us to build uh, flexible new systems with lots of features and um, compact size with that. So um, I don't see any overlays or frames or anything. This feels like window glass, so what's, what's the thing really? Well, the idea here is very much that this is a plain sheet of glass. It's absolutely flush. There's no frames or extra bezels coming out of that because, uh, well, usually people don't really want them. But the idea is that um, all the logic, all the electronics are embedded inside of the unit. And this also allows us to build a fairly thin bezel, so it's mm -hmm. uh, as thin as the LCD panel itself. Self has it there. And based on that, we can then build our touch display. I can maybe show you a bit about how this uh, performs, mm -hmm. start, and then we'll have a look at the overall technology. The basic thing here is that uh, obviously tracking the user's fingers. You can track any number of those, so it's in practice unlimited. Um, usually the only limit really is that how many people you can fit around the display. But this, this is pretty unusual, right? So we can actually see the palm also, not just the fingertips. <laughs> yes, so uh, it gives us extra information which can be very useful when you're building a user, user experience. So for example, um, you can tell when people put their hand on the screen where the people actually are, because that palm direction usually it's a, it's a good indication of that. And in addition to that, fingers, we can track uh, mar markers. So here we have a 2D code, and then basically we can um, move that around. A tag like this can be attached to um, any object at the store, for example, when you go to a cosmetics or electronics store, you can have an object that has a 2D tag like yeah. this attached to that, and by, by placing that on the table, you get more information, for example, about that, that product itself. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what a lot of our clients are using it in uh, instances like that. What is the technology behind this? Okay, I'll um, show you that from them. So here we have a 3D model of the multi-taction cell, the hardware. And if I just explore that out a bit, you can see a bit more about what the different components are. So if we start from the front here, we have a computer vision through the screen technology. Basically, we have the LCD panel and the front glass. These are done in themselves. We don't have foils. We don't have frames around there. But all the logic is behind the screen and also out of the edges so we can make those thin bezels. So the logic is here. We have. Um, First of all, integrated backlight emitter camera modules. So these are the point with them is we are collecting the information from the user using infrared cameras. There's infrared LEDs there, and then there's white LEDs. What we do is that we combine all of those camera images together. We have a system called Matrix Tracking System, MTS. And the idea is that it's basically pulling all of that data together and uh, feeding them into the computer then. So we have an integrated small computer here as well. So the point here is that uh, we have extensible hybrid tracking engine, which means that we can uh, put new kinds of tracking algorithms in when needed for the clients and so on. We can tweak it as necessary. So there's a small computer which is running the tracking. Actually, most of the tracking work is done on the graphics card of the computer, so we are outsourcing that, not using the CPU, but rather GPU for that, so leaving the computer more in a more balanced way useful for running the client applications, for example. So you might, um, if you want, you can just use it as a completely standalone system. You have nothing but the power cable going in and maybe an Ethernet. And then you have the computer there. You can run all the applications right out of the box. What are the operating systems that we can use uh, with the display? Uh, with this display, we can use uh, basically Linux and Windows uh, as embedded operating systems. And then, of course, you can also combine that with Macintosh computers. We have multiple format tracking output engine. So there's lots of options there. First of all, we have a two-year output, two-year protocol. So this is a standard which a lot of the touch applications out there understand. We have XML stream, which is also uh, used by some applications. This is actually our own format 
for its own let's say flavor of XML that's providing a rich set of data, a bit more than the two-year stream can can incorporate. Then we can turn into a Windows 7 native touch event. Uh, and then we have powerful um, C++ and OpenGL programming environment. So you can write your applications also that way, especially if you are, have very, let's say, require, require large displays and such, then uh, our engine is uh, quite, quite good with those respects. So now we have this as a table. Can it be a wall or a tilted table as well? Sure, if we look back here, then we have one set up which is as a set up as a it's vertical unit. You can turn this 90 degrees, so you get portrait mode if you want. And what if we uh, stack these units, combine more than one together? Uh, do we have any physical limitation, what type of structures we can create? Uh, it's quite free because uh, basically in terms of physical connections, you have uh, standard VESA mounts in there, so you can just connect with 800 by 800 by 400 VESA mount, VESA mount technique, so you can uh, build your own stands if you want. Then we have um, the system around it, uh, it has an aluminum frame and we have a small groove here, and you can use standard aluminum truss uh, components to connect straight into that groove, so it's uh, Basically, from all sides of the system, you can attach into that. You can build large walls, you can build tables, and we can stack a lot of displays together. You can get a really huge displays. And with this kind of a stacking technology, you get very good resolution, even with large size. Which often, there's been a bit of a, let's say, trade-off sometimes, that people want to make big display, but the resolution suffers. We can make a big display with big resolution. Will the responsiveness be at the same level, even with multiple displays connected together? Sure. So this is one of the reasons why we have the integrated computer here is that all the tracking and all the, let's say, difficult, difficulty of that uh, processing is integrated into each of the units. Mm -hmm. So then when you are connecting multiples of these, the application computer itself can be very sort of, uh, it only has to run the application. There is no extra overhead because of the tracking work there. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we have talked a lot about technology. Um, what is the availability of this display? Since everybody now, yeah, this is the greatest invention in multi-touch history. So, can they buy this already? It can be bought, as of this day.